Hey guys, this is Chris Fate with Cheat the Game, and what I have here is a really, really great question. And uh, I would like to answer it in video form because I do get this question a lot, and it's, it's something that you know needs to be discussed. And this way, I can just lead people to this when they have this question. And his question is this: Can this help in stuff like this? And it, this is based off the read mem where the bytes change, and you need. Uh, then restore to the previous bytes and without having to just rewrite the script over and over and over again But in essence to this he's asking can this help in stuff like this where this is the uh, Opcode he's needing to affect however, you know, it's having to care, you know, borrow bytes from this opcode to Jump to new or allocated memory, right? Okay Well, what's going on here is that this address is going to change each and every time he brings up the game so you know he can't just write it, this address in a script is there another way around this and I said yes absolutely and, and there's a couple of ways that uh, let me put this down and there's a couple of ways that y you need to go about it in, in regards to having that changed in allocated memory to always jump no matter if that address is changed or not right as you can see here, he's shown me two different times. Uh, this is one time he run the game. This is another time he run the game, and the address changes. However, the bytes are always staying the same. Now, there's two different types. Uh, you've seen before where we use the read mem. It's where these bytes change each and every time because the, the address that it's jumping to is being stored in bytes. However, there is another way uh, that it's it can be stored and that's actually the distance it needs to jump and this method will work if it's if that's the case if it's the distance it needs to jump so basically what it's saying is this this opcode right here e9 is byte notation for the jump saying i need you to jump the distance of 9 e bytes and that's what it does it reads that and then it starts here and goes one two three all the way to, and it counts in hex all the way 9e bytes so what is 9e in byte form that's 158 bytes away and do you do you under it, you have to understand that that this is not the address or has anything to do with that address other than that's how, the distance away that that address will always be located regardless if the address changes or not if you bring the game up again it'll be uh, dynamically allocated the game will dynamically allocate this part of memory or this structure in a different part so that address will be changed but it will always be 9 e bytes away it'll always need to jump 9 e bytes do you see that so no matter where it's allocated it'll always need to jump 158 bytes so is there a way to circumvent that? Well, yeah. If it's the distance that it's jumping and not it just doesn't have uh, an address in that it's jumping to, but a distance, then yeah, absolutely, you can do that. And I just brought up a just a regular location. I just attached Cheat Engine to Notepad, and I'm going to use this here. And we're going to pretend this jump, if not equal, is actually. You can see that it is static, so that means it'll always be the same. But we're going to pretend right now that it's not static. We're going to pretend that this address that it's jumping to changes each and every time. But this is where the bytes come into play at. You can see right here, this is the notation, the 7-5 for jump if not equal. The 4-2 is the byte notation for the distance I want you to jump. So it's, it's start, it starts here at 0 and starts counting 1. Right here at the 48, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way down to this byte which is that address. Remember what I said in the Back to Basics series that I will link up in the upper right hand corner is that each individual byte has its own unique address. Well this very first starting byte is at address 303E. That's the byte it needs to jump to to run this opcode correctly. Okay, 8B is at a different address. It's a, it's a 3EF and then you know how to count in hex but you know what I mean. So always remember, just to reiterate, this is the jump notation and this is the distance it's telling the system how many bytes it needs to jump in hex. 
So then it starts counting from this byte, starting at zero. Then it goes one, two, three. I need to jump all the way down here to this byte. So what is, let's see, what is four two hex in decimal? Four two in decimal is 66 bytes it needs to jump. So that means starting from that four two zero, then one, if you count in decimal all the way to this four eight, you have just counted 66 bytes. So remember that number. So how do I get it to always jump to this address if that address is changing? But the distance is never changing. Well, we have to use our injection point. And I'm putting the injection point on this test. Let's say, pretend like this test is what I'm needing to affect. So remember, if we do an AOB injection, let's go ahead and start the template. AOB injection and just let me explain and I'm just gonna say uh, let's 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 name that something let's just name that uh, we'll just name that symbol to be easy let's put it in I'll put it in symbol well actually no let's just leave it as inject I don't want to confuse anybody so just leave it as inject it don't matter what you name this it will always work because all this is is just a symbol name. You can change it to whatever you like, and Cheat Engine automatically registers whatever name you put it as. And remember what we discussed in the Back to Basics series, it actually becomes the name of that very first byte, which is at this address. Do you get it? That now, that byte, that starting byte, is now named inject. Okay? So we can use that in our script okay as well so here's the part that gets a little confusing so I need you to hang with me okay remember this is the we need it to jump this many bytes away to the correct byte which is at 4 8 so we and it starts counting here at this byte so even if we have it started counting from here we need it to come to this 4 8 byte. So, how do we do that? We got to increase it. Well, remember, from this byte here, it's starting here, right? So, we need to add these four bytes to that 66. Remember, it was 66 bytes away, starting from here? 66 bytes. So, now we need it to start here, and that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, which is 60. Is 66 bytes starting from here, then 67, 68, 69, 70 bytes, right? So what's 70 in hex? That would be for six bytes, okay? So remember, when it's uh, without anything, and it reads this opcode which is reading the bytes this is just an interpretation of the bytes it's saying jump if not equal 42 hex bytes and starts counting in hex one two three four just like that okay so since we know it starts here counting we need to calculate the new starting place which is one two three four bytes back up to 85 right starting from here one two three four so we know starting here is 66 bytes away, if that's one, which that is. So 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, or if you want to count in hex, uh, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, however you want to do it. I, I, that's about the simplest way I can explain it, and I know it's confusing. I really, really do. All right, so how do we write that in the script? Well, you do so like this. You just use that symbol name, which remember is the name of that very first byte. And we already have it there. That's where it's going to put the jump. We need five bytes for a jump, and it just knocks out any access bytes. So as you can see here, it had to borrow bytes from three different instructions, okay? To fulfill those five bytes to jump to allocated memory. So right here, we just replace the address that we know is going to change again, and we just call it our inject, or our symbol name. Whatever your symbol name is, it doesn't matter what you call it. And then four, six bytes. Because remember, it's starting from here and not here. 
which that'll always be zero. So from here, it needs to count 46 hex bytes or 70. So it'll be 70 bytes. So one, two, three, all the way down to that place it needs to jump to. So you can put it like that. All right, so assign that to the current cheat table and I'll show you. So go back to memory viewer. Now remember, it needs to jump to notepad.exe plus 303e. And just pretend that's not static, okay? So once we turn our code on, it puts the jump on it. And that's allocated memory for it and placed our knobs. And let's follow it and take a look. Here's our code. It's going to jump back to the 303e. And that can change each and every time because that byte will always represent the distance. Okay? Since it represents the distance, it doesn't matter what it's jumping to or if that changes or not because it will always just be a distance. So I hope that makes sense. I know it gets confusing. That's why I needed to make a video about it. Uh, but like I say, hopefully in the future, uh, I can do another one where we can just uh, show you, I can show you how to use read min for that as well, which is very similar to this very this video here. We just assign it to a define and we just use that define name as it's jump and you're good to go all right so i'm going to go ahead and post this up for you guys i hope this helps